Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. Um, yeah, we're back to playing. Uh, good old fashioned, uh, where the In water the morning, tastes like wine. I'm sorry, I'm tired tonight, the street guys. <laughs> to an obedient queue. Heads down, stomachs grumbling. Mm. Every couple minutes, the line lurches forward like the yank of a chain. They're waiting to get into a warehouse. You can't tell why or what's inside. Uh, I'd like to know what's Time inside. Time passes. Oof. Time passes. Jeez. <laughs> Time passes. Oh my god. <laughs> Time passes. What? Finally, you're <laughs> ushered inside. A calf's been dumped on the dirt floor. It's exposed flank picked apart to the bone. There's a slit running down its stomach, Ooh. spilling sand instead of blood. I don't, I don't think the that's butcher, gonna The butcher mutters something you presume is unflattering. The sun is setting outside, and you still haven't eaten. Jeez, that was a harsh one. I was like, where are we? Jacksonville, okay. Um, sorry, the game was starting and I was in the middle of typing something and I was like, well, I guess I'm jumping on here. Little boy, what are you doing? Sorry, the monster in the maelstrom. <clears throat> hmm. Well, your brother tells a good story, Sonny. Hey there. The man looks anxious. Don't suppose you saw something shiny on the ground as you walked this way? Might have caught mm. your eye, glinted like a coin or a piece of glass? Is it like a coin or a piece of glass? So it's not those. The man so what is, is it? devastated. Oh, I lost no. my girl's grandma's ring. I got her ma's <laughs> blessing today. She gave me the ring to propose with and... He turns his face away. But his jagged mm. breathing gives away his tears. Dude, I mean... He gulps down his Something sorrow. like that. Most people don't got the cash for it. So, yeah. Sorry. I don't understand why he'd be so I sad. I can't replace it. If I could afford to buy one, I wouldn't have accepted her mother's offer. I'll find that ring if it kills me. Oh, I'll, I'll he help you find it. Absolutely, dude. slowly increasing circles with his potatoes at the center. But find nothing. After a while, he calls. Can't have you wasting time. Don't worry, I'll find it. Well, You're half a field trying. away when something winks at you from the dirt. It's a simple gold ring with a bright solitaire diamond. Who, would, who what monster would keep Must it? Must be the engagement ring the man was looking for. Doesn't Absolutely. take long to retrace your steps. But oh, the potato no. seller is gone. As have his sacks of spuds. When you uncurl your hand, there's nothing in it but a small, shiny coin. Well, shame I can't turn that into some food. Huh, this is interesting. <laughs> We're all the way down the coast oh, of Florida. Oh, God, not another. <laughs> he meets your eye and shrugs. They're not mine. <laughs> I'm not a shepherd, I'm a teacher, just but they him. just keep coming. <laughs> a flash of panic crosses his face. What if they never stop appearing? Well, I'll drown in sheep. <laughs> it started a day ago. Uh. I was sitting on a tree stump, musing about my job. I'm stuck where I am, can't get a promotion. Well, you're a Wished teacher, I'd chosen so yeah. a different path. And then, bah, a sheep is munching away next to me. He shrugs. <laughs> yes, Interesting like that. Story. I looked for a gap in the fence, figured they're from a farm. Nothing. And three more appeared while I searched. <laughs> he sounds desperate. Started yesterday. Now I have 43 sheep. I can't escape. They chase <laughs> me whenever I try. People Instant will think shepherd. I'm a thief. Wouldn't you ask the provenance of sheep? Wonder why a teacher had some? He looks tired. Perhaps I've lost my mind. <laughs> or this is a dream, and you're not mm. here. I'd like to wake up. You are awake. Oh, damn. 
I suppose I'm not imagining him either. <laughs> His dejected look abruptly lifts. Tell you what, though. They're a lot less work than children. Quieter, too. If I had to choose which to be trapped with, I'd take sheep every time. You know, maybe that's my calling. Maybe I've just never realized I should just work with sheep instead of children. <laughs> Nice. Oh, what a sweet little girl. Much appreciated, little miss. Alright. I don't think we've gone up this this side of the Jesus. Sir. That is a gaunt picture. The dead man and the abandoned railway. Of course I do. I've seen it myself. I don't remember that one. So, uh, yeah, we're... Things are kind of stressful right now, because next week we have our court date for our little guy, so he, he might be staying with us a little longer, and he might not. So we're a little mentally exhausted, and then he's physically exhausting us because he's not sleeping well lately. Last night he woke up every two hours with my wife, and I'm happy I can give Even her there. a break tonight. You looking for a sermon or just a chat? That's an interesting voice. Don't really matter, frankly. First thing I ever learned behind the pulpit is that every homily is just a conversation. For some reason, my brain is just saying this. This Ain't voice one actor sounds like a black you... man imitating a white man who's imitating a black man. <laughs> Preachers ain't shepherds. They're cowboys. They got to like, run with the flock. Like, Keep them directed like a without of fencing them in. Balls. <laughs> so how about you take a seat and guide us somewhere? Sure. Anyway, why don't you tell me a scary story? You must have heard some good ones. Hell yeah, I have. Got lots of scary ones. Where's the evil cat? Where's my evil cat story? I know I didn't switch that one out, did I? Uh, I guess I'll go with this. It's got a monster. That counts. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Really? Death? Well, <sighs> Ma died a few years after I was born. Pops used to tell me she was beautiful and that I had her eyes and her sense of conscience, but he always said it like it was an insult. <laughs> Lately, that's why you my journey is pretty man. ordinary. Just walking, church to church. What about you? Been on any adventures? Mm, adventures, huh? Mm. That's a pretty adventurous one. I think this will work for you. I swear I ain't heard a story good as that in a long minute. There you go. Home? Never had a home. Not the way y'all talk about it anyway. Pops and I had a little trailer for the summer he was wrestling in Atlanta. But otherwise, it was a new floor every week. Wrestling? You must have seen some pretty wild stuff on the road. What's the most exciting thing you've seen? Hmm. That's a hard one to tell. Let's see. Excitement, huh? Tell about some excitement. Uh, I feel like the creature, the creature might be a good one. I think I changed up some of my stories because someone had heard them already. So now I'm missing some of my key ones. Um. Sure, let's talk about the creature in the box. Hmm. Different folks have different senses of humor, I suppose. You didn't even ask for Freedom? humor. I have it now. I hear it a lot. You give the best sermons I ever heard, Brother Jimmy. Why don't you well, become a pastor and start your own church? Well, that's mighty kind of them. Well, I like the freedom. 
Jesus didn't preach to the Canaanites alone after all. You know, that makes a good point. He was a bit of a rambling so man. no, no church or temple or praise house for me. My congregation is America itself. I do like the characters in most of these. You know any story that brings a person hope? Something I can tell to my congregation? You want hope, huh? Hmm. That sounds good. Well, shock and peril ain't always exciting, you know. Do you ever well, notice how then. different folks think about the future in entirely different ways? I Talk to a man up in Harlem, to hat man, sells hats. And he's talking about quarters and fiscal years. Talk to one of them boys at the Shaw School, they start yapping about automation and aeroplanes. But when I talk to my auntie down in Macon, <laughs> she can't see past her next payday. Boy, ain't that Some folks don't have the privilege of the future. Hey, do you have any spooky campfire tales? Feels appropriate out It does feel appropriate out here. All right, let's see. Let's see, they were crying. Spooky, spooky, spooky. I want to confirm if I got anything else actually spooky. The haunted store that lured children with music. This has got to count as spooky, right? Come on now. Oh, you could rattle you a congregation's go. bones, I bet. The past, <laughs> huh. my earliest memories of my mother and father teasing each other, laughing about something I didn't quite understand, putting yeah. on voices, playing games. This was back before she passed. Mm. Well, I got to get moving on. I have a sermon give in the morning, and well, the church is going... a long night of walking that way. You're going back to where I just came Walk from. Walk like you're so, blessed, child. Because even if you ain't, to, that's the only way you'll find your holy self. Haven't had the sump pump going off in a while. Because it's been, you know, winter. So everything's been just more, like, cold. Not so much snow. An and definitely not rain. An portly <laughs> man stands on the street corner. Fixing a look of refined disdain on everyone who <laughs> walks past. As he catches sight of you... He alights on you with a kind of thrill. You! He calls, <laughs> pointing. He All sidles right, what closer you want, to you. Stranger. You aren't from around here, huh? You, uh, want to make some cash? Holes I need to get ask done. First. Fence posts, you know, on my estate. My maintenance man is sick. It's just a quick drive. Mm, His face faster. turns bright red and scrunches into a wrinkled mass. He trots off into an alley with a new little under his breath. <laughs> Moments later, a wreck of a car bolts out of the alley past you, close enough that you feel the fender brush past your leg. Hmm. Uh, seems like a bit of a jerk anyway. Savannah, Georgia. Folks wilt out Savannah. of every car window, smoking cigarettes and jeering at the quiet crowd gathered outside the train. You spot the detectives by their shirts, buttoned so tight the fabric bites into their necks. Seems this ride's been stalled some time mm. now. A passenger leans out of a stairwell. This ain't the station, Traveler. This train won't take you nowhere anyhow. Oh, yeah? What's Guy up? fell out of the car into the wheels. Ooh. Folks talking murder, but I've had my heart broken. Probably some drunk took a tumble. <laughs> the man sighs and fans himself with the checkered tip of his tie. Just a little. <laughs> he used to think rail travel had it all. Damsels tied to tracks, murder mysteries, armed robberies, adventure. <laughs> the man shakes his head. That's a little Mostly sadder. Mostly, some yeah. jobless fella dives into the cow catcher. You say jobless. Like yeah, it's a bad well, thing. life ain't like the pictures. That's what my pop says. Boy, sure wish somebody would wring his neck. <laughs> the man drops his tie and glares at you. Say... 
What's your line of work, friend? So are you... I don't... I don't rightfully know what they're talking about in this one. Is that missing? Is that Atlanta over there? I don't know. I'll come back this way eventually. I'll just keep on moving. Stick to the coast. Live in dust storm that devours whole towns. Uh huh. I think that's a fully advanced story now, isn't it? Yeah. I think we need to change up some of our stories. Make these a little easier for us. That's a sad story. True sad story. Alright. Well, now that we've adjusted those. Let's, let's see where we're heading to. More importantly, where we haven't been yet. Oh, so that's where Georgia is. Oh, man. Might have to make a swing by that way. Then head over to South Carolina. Because, man, there's a lot of things there. Whole city we haven't seen. A bunch of people we've not seen. Hmm. Look like there's really anything for miles up here. Big ol' big old state with nothing in it. You know? I'm, I'm thinking we need to head on back to stick around in Georgia. <sighs> finally got to go to the arcade. Um, arcade Legacy has finally reopened so I'm pretty pumped about that very excited uh, really nice the the location is super cool um, I was not expecting to be as excited the as I was but like when I got there man, jingles. felt like home again waitress flinches hmm. at the Formica counter a woman grabs her son to her pinning his arms wasn't me this time I swear he protests, trying to wriggle free. The waitress surveys him with narrowed eyes. What? Um. All right, I'm not serving anybody until I make sure that boy doesn't cause another racket. <laughs> she snaps. He's a menace. Last week, his mama bought him a trumpet. Drove my regulars <laughs> crazy. Told her she's got to keep an eye on him if she wants him to eat here. No instruments in the diner. I think that's He's a reasonable music request. Mast, but he can't carry a tune to save his life. <laughs> the waitress winces. Last month, he tried the guitar. He's banned from the pictures now. You know that? He won't stay still. <laughs> Suddenly, a tinkling cacophony <laughs> interrupts her. Really? The boy has produced a triangle. Buddy, you need to go do anything else. <laughs> That's pretty great. A triangle. Uh, where am I heading? Wow, look at this pathway I've taken. Uh, keep heading west. There it is. Atlanta. I knew it was around here somewhere. empty area wander over there hit up those campfires you can see in the distance all right we got all our stuff you find yourself in a poker game on the third floor of the wine cough hotel sometimes these things just happen <laughs> maybe i shouldn't end up in too many more poker to games left. he never gave his name growls at the smiling man seated on your right you ain't got the stomach. I <laughs> killed men for lessons in that pot. Smiler plays on and takes the hand. The burned man bears his teeth. This That's hand comes down words. to the burned man and Smiler. Walk away, boy, says the burned man. Smiler drops his grin. 
<laughs> that ain't your boy, Roy. Roy's eye twitches. Smiler outplays Roy again, and a new hand comes around. Let's see what we got. You've got an okay hand. Not a world beater, but not nothing. I feel like the smiley guy knows what he's doing. You play your hand well and push Smiler into folding. <laughs> you scrape a good number of chips into your pile. Roy is preoccupied and has to be nudged into dealing. All he right, finally hit continue. a decent hand. Mm. Roy Screw is it. still staring at Smiler. <laughs> What'd you say your name was? I didn't, but it's Jackson. Jackson, repeats Roy. Oh, I knew it, Jackson, once. There's a fierce look in Roy's eye. <laughs> you play your hand well, but Smiler Aww. has you beat. He takes the lion's share of the chips on the table. Roy cashes out and slips away. Damn. <laughs> you play a few more rounds, but that hand practically sewed up the game. As you Oof. leave the hotel, you smell smoke. Oh, no. You cross the street and look up. Flames have engulfed the third floor where you played the game. Sheesh. The fire spreads hungrily. People are leaning out of windows on the floor. I think, I think Roy caused some mayhem. They took all my money. Uh, I always say, good to earn your honest work. Hmm. Sure. Watch the dog. Wow, paid well. <laughs> well, I guess we can move on comfortably from that. We got taken at the table, but uh, we still walk away from Atlanta comfortably. <laughs> I like it. I wonder if, like, as you get closer to the end of this, if it'll An let you zoom out and see every single you spot that you missed. Oh, aren't you a good-looking one? No, no. She <laughs> says. A broad smile creases her face. This is an excellent spot. Everyone passes me eventually. That's a weird thing she to say. She pats the seat beside her. Join me for a moment. She right, rests lady. her head against your shoulder <laughs> as if you were old companions. Look. She runs a hand down your arm, points <laughs> across a field to a lone tree silhouetted against the skyline. I think of myself as like that tree. She glances at you. Are you a ghost who's going reaction. to steal my soul? Strong. Healthy. Alone. I've seen that field filled with plants and ravaged by fire. The trees outlasted everything. <laughs> she giggles, strangely childlike. I've had three lovers. Two men, <laughs> one woman. Outlived them all. Uh -huh. I don't grieve. Each one brought me joy. And each death brought someone else That's an interesting way to put it. She sits up straight, shifts to face you. Uh, the tilt of her head is coquettish. Would you let me kiss you? Will you stab me? <laughs> oh, no. Her laugh degenerates into a cackle. <laughs> Your loss. Well, I always was an excellent kisser, but perhaps you've got someone else. Remember, you know, there I know always I, can be I like this else. sentiment, at least. Doesn't do to get hooked. You know, like, not saying Mischief that, like, you need to jump from relationship to relationship, eyes. but, like, she shoes you particularly, like, if someone passes smile. away or, like, a relationship ends and you have to move on, like, it's good to know, like, you know, it's not, you're not alone. You, you know, you're starting over again, but that's okay. 
What's down there? Oh, that's probably the guy that I just met. Birmingham, Alabama. I say, you there! Shouts that the boy, boy should not have that voice. The broken stairs <laughs> that of the sand-swept shack. His imperial affect seems at odds with his shabby clothes okay, well, I'm glad and he sound skin. I shall pay you this enormous, beautiful, shining coin if you would only dance for me. Fine. I'll dance. You attempt to solo foxtrot. <laughs> From the get-go, the boy is clearly unenthused. <laughs> After two repetitions, he throws a rock at you to make you stop. <laughs> I didn't like that, he informs you. But I always honor my debts. What a strange he child. He hands you the coin, just <sighs> as his mother calls him in for supper. Well, that, that was a weird one. The imperious child. Hmm. All right, who are we meeting here? Familiar face or an old soul? Hello. Ah. Yeah, the old guitar up player. Is its own peculiar kind of joy. Been a while since I've seen you. Ain't nothing like it. No man so good, no smoke so deep. All right. When the devil found me, I was on the edge of that cliff. He had seen deep inside me. He knew. <laughs> and we made a deal. Hells yeah. Ooh, how about a story about the dark and scary things in the world? I got those, lady. That's that's more sad. I don't think you you haven't heard my my cat story yet. Oh, that's a scary one. Damn straight. Death. <laughs> I did not think that death could or would touch me before I met the devil. I felt I was too worthless even for death. Yeah. I never feared the devil, no. <laughs> he took something from me, but he gave me back something I lost too. Sounds like a fair trade. Ooh. Now I'm in the mood for a story with a bit of that tragedy to it. Oh damn, I got plenty of those. Let's tell you about the Silogram boy. Oh, Don't get much more tragic that than that. Pain. Yeah, you better write a good song yeah, about that one. Yeah, that's some sadness I owe. Sadness <laughs> I should have had, but never did. You see, hey, you make what works Mama for never you. told me Marcus was sick. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now I'm in the mood for a story with a bit of that tragedy to it. All right, let's see what else I can find for you. Isle Guardian, fur coats, fortune teller. White Rider. Hmm. That feels pretty tragic. The world ain't all mm, sunshine, you know. I mean, it is What's a sad happening? one. Well, I tell you, being famous, that ain't nothing. <laughs> being respected, that's holy. That's something for a rare few. And hearing that, Gives me respect for her. Being respected is heaven. <laughs> now I'm in the mood for a story with a bit of that tragedy to it. All right, lady. Let's give you some tragedy. The dead passenger seems appropriate. feels pretty tragic. I drink to there that. we go. Very nice. Freedom. There's not many things color folk can use to get free. You work twice as hard and you get half as much. Feels that way still. I thought money was a ticket out, 
but money come and go like everything else. <sighs> I'm in the mood accurate. for a good, hopeful story. You got any? All right. Um, I just had the workers one. Protecting the trains, pretty solid. Um, mortal vagrant, defended by an eagle. Hopeful story. Where's that one? Let's see if we can get with this one. Mm, those Guess thrills not. don't really move me. Fair the enough. future's what the devil gave me. When he took my soul, the he told me I would be the best blues singer there ever was. Ain't no man or woman greater. Well, I they heard still you. ain't. <laughs> ah, the sun yeah. is up. Didn't quite One get more there. night gone. And I gotta go. I'm headed down the road this way. I'm doing a bit of traveling, aren't you? There's more I'd like to tell you, though. About the deal I made with the devil. It ain't a story I tell everyone. But I think, well, I think you I should hear it. it. Someone should hear it. <laughs> Someone should know the things I've done. I killed 50 men. <laughs> um, I have no idea what time I started. Hold on one second. All right, let's uh, let's continue on. See what other stories we can tell. Interesting. Alright. Did we get to that city? I don't know if we did. That's fine. Go to Birmingham. Let's see what we got around. The candles flicker as she waves Ooh. one hand over the ball. Silver mist swirls up inside it. The tent feels closer <sighs> around you. Her eyes study you intently as she sets the mm. orb on the table. Tell me what you see, and I will guide you. I see. She leans forward. Yes? Hmm. Her eyes Old widen. Friend. Someone long lost. Do they have black hair down to here? <laughs> she gestures. And skin like mine. What does that mean? <laughs> she leans forward, knuckles whitening over the edges of the table. What more do you see? Hmm. I haven't had a good tragic one Her in a while. Face falls. That what? Oh. She slumps back in her chair, the energy gone from her. Forgive me. What? <laughs> I sought to learn from you what I cannot see about myself. I should have known better. She slides over a coin. She paid me for it? This is for you. It's only proper. Now go. That's an interesting one. Let's see what, uh, what kind of stories we've had warped here. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, all right. I like your story, Sonny. You! She snaps. <laughs> Level with me now. Would okay. you walk 10 miles every day with heavy bags under your arms and a silly box on your head for some bent... Double crossing, hopped up, out of shape, man. Absolutely not. That's what I said, too, at first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. Oh. <laughs> the bitter lover carrying a box on her head. That's, uh. That'll be a tale to tell the, tell the kids one day. Let me tell you the tale of the bitter lover carrying a box on her head. <laughs> Ooh, a new person. I take a look at you. Figure we're heading to the same place. 
You've been walking a long time, same as me, trying to find where you fit. I like this guy. <laughs> if that place don't exist? His voice is very pleasant. No shame in it, I do. Plenty of time I wonder if I'll just walk forever. <laughs> you start to wonder? These are definitely my favorite How did sections. I, get here? I love these voice actors. Uh, you alone. <laughs> all you have is all this time. Time to trace the lines back to where things you know, started. I gotta say, I know that this game didn't sell well and it really sucks, but I I kinda the more I'm playing this, the more I'm realizing I think I like this as an introspective talking game more than I like Glitch Hikers. But anyway, you uh know any Just a little. true tragedies? But I'm I really like one of those tonight. Boy, I got tragedies, sir. I got tragedies. I hear you. Let me tell you about the sadness. There's some sadness out there. Yep, sadness. Things get took from you. You realize that things get took from you. You ain't Curious. never owned them in the first place. I feel like this guy is not really giving me much of his personality. It's a dark place. So, or his background. Uh, tell me a sad story. Sad and true, okay? Sad and true. You mean sad but true. Hmm. <clears throat> So no ghost stories. I don't. Um, I don't know. No, no, I'm looking at everything. I'm like, I don't really know what to, what counts as a sad story. I guess this one's sad. It's tragic. Body and soul. All right, that works. <laughs> Body and Change. soul. When I was a young man, You're a simple man. It took a while for me to accept that all things changed. When I did, I leaned into it hard. Sometimes you need to salt the earth to get where you need to go. I really want to know more of this so, guy's story. He's not giving me much. Oh, man. Another sad one, huh? This feels sad. I don't know if it counts as sad. Well, Guess I not. wish the world were like that, but it ain't. You, you don't wish it Wishes would be like that. That true. sucks. My father was born a slave. Died free. Well, that's good. I was born free. And as a young man, I I still felt like I was dying a slave. But anyway, you uh, know any good youth. true tragedies? I feel like one of those tonight. Man, you're all about the sadness, huh? Hmm. Sad story, sad story. I don't know. I hear you. All right, that'll work. I think about the past sometimes. I never want nothing but to be a farmer. Huh. Do honest work, get an honest wage. Well, that's very commendable. I ain't never going to be a farmer now. <laughs> Not much used to think about it. But anyway, <laughs> now I feel like hearing a hopeful story. Got any of those? You're actually going to look for something positive, huh? Well, if you want to make me weep, 
it's going to have to sound realer than that. Fair family. enough. The Sharecroppers Union told me they were like a family. You ever get in Good. a fire fight for your brothers and sisters? You should. Here's the sun. I got to get going. My route goes up this way, but I sure did enjoy talking to you. It was nice meeting you, sir. You never it's told probably me your the name. kind of story you've heard a million times. Down on your luck, need work, take whatever you can get. How about you? Does my life sound familiar? A little bit. The sharecropper. He doesn't even get a name. Weird. Shaw's life. That's short for sharecropper. Get head up there and say hi to our lady friend. Hmm. Uh, show me the cities. Show me the characters. That's right. It only tells me the stories that I've heard. Oh, well, that's an easy way to do it. Well, fantastic. I uh, guess it doesn't show me in the cities. Thought I'd... A lot of people down here. I know I did those. Okay, so does it tell me if I got an untold story in a city? Hmm. Can't tell. Well, man, there's still so much to see. <sighs> okay, where do we want to head? I don't know. I'm kind of. Guess we missed all the South Carolina stuff there. Let's go north to Tennessee. Have we done Tennessee? I feel like we've done Tennessee. Well, let's go up to Arkansas. And then maybe wind our way back down through the Mississippi. Make our way west through the middle. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Northwest. <sighs> Man, we're just, I don't know, this might be, depending on how things go with the, with the baby, this might be my last recording before the court date, and, uh, and if we find out he's leaving, I'll tell you this, the next recording's gonna be a lot sadder, can't help it, okay, she just heard a bunch of my stories, I think we need to change some of them up. I think we told her the scary one of that. Well, you know what? It's great. We'll take our chances. We'll take our chances. See what we get from her. One more time for telling stories, miss. And then we'll move on to the next stop. And honestly, probably the next, uh, the next tale, oh, too, or the next, uh, video, take too. Take a seat. All right, let's talk. Here for more about the deal I made with the devil. Hells yeah. Sure, I can tell you. But remember, it ain't a story that go down easy. It don't <laughs> have a happy ending. Well, you sold your soul. Now, I'm in the mood for a story with a bit of that tragedy to it. Tragedy's coming. Hmm. That feels appropriate. I drink to that. There you go. Enjoy that tragedy. Yeah, there's some sadness, I owe. Sadness. I you already see. know about your sadness. Ooh. Now I'm in a little more tragedy, huh? You just won't be happy till you get all that tragedy. Well, they 
guys. The other guy said this was pretty sad. Let's see if That's this works. Like a song. There you go. Pretty and sad. I didn't do my duty to my family. Every year I thought about Marcus less and less. I carried a picture forward. of him in my guitar case. A sight that started to look like broken strings, picks as the years went on. <laughs> I threw him away. I thought I loved him, but he was nothing to me. Wow. Ooh, now I'm in the mood for a story. Ma'am, you uh you need to work on your tragedies, girl. Um, I wonder if this counts as tragedy or, or jokes. I can never tell with this one. But the tent city. I don't know what the tent city brings out in people. Let's let's see what the tent city brings out in people. No, that's just too frightening for me. Okay, the tent city scary. The Got it. What the devil gave me. When he took my soul, he told me I would be the best blues. There's still. Ooh, how about a story about dark and scary things? All right. Tell them about the killers on the street. That's kind of dark and scary. That's a mice sad right now. It's just sad. Okay, hmm, got it. Authority. I pushed back against the man in charge before. There's a few towns where I have a reputation. I bet you do. <laughs> I don't get along with folks. Can you blame me? When you've been played, you start to want to play others. <laughs> Ooh, now I'm in the mood for a story. Every single story. She wants tragedy now. Missing people. Trying to scare me. Well, I don't care for okay. that. One. I thought that Trash. one kind of scary, but I was never sure. Well, I thought fame would be freedom. But it's also a trap. The thing about is. being on stage is that it feels so open. But there's a line you do not cross. <laughs> there are three walls you can see. And then the one wall you never name, but almost fear. All right. You can't tell you in a cage till you can't leave it. Ah, the sun is up. One more Heading night gone. Night. I'm headed down the road this way, but maybe we'll see each other again. And I'll tell you about how it all went wrong. You really didn't tell me Thought anything about Thought it would last anything. forever. You understand, I was not just a star. I was an inventor. No <laughs> one played guitar like me. No one. I deserved what I had. I thought it would last forever. Got to. All right. Gotta step up. Step up in her story. I like it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna get these couple stories out of the way, and then uh, I think we'll wrap up. Woohoo! That one's got a wild spirit to her. Oh yeah. She remarks, sweat pooling under her dark brown eyes. <laughs> The car halted in the middle of her garage with a groaning, <laughs> hulking beast. A gorgeous pre-Ford monstrosity. Pre-Ford. Handmade for speed Interesting to grace, make that description. Perhaps not so much durability. The idea of not having... A ghost, a white, yeah, a soul, whatever line. you want to call it. Hmm. Course cars have them. She sighs. But Where every year... There's less wild ones and more of these damn model bees. Tame <laughs> things, weak and sorry. They are pretty she pathetic. strokes the swooping hood of the luxury car like one might groom a prize stallion. <laughs> these beauties, not even their owners really understand them. But today's cars huh. have petty souls. They're meant to ferry accountants to and fro, not to run wild on the open road. Hmm. Oh, Can't be but it can. They might not make them like we used to, but we can make the new ones better. Kindle not anything the fires kindled if you're the still using the assembly of the modern line. car. <laughs> she points towards a motley pile of steel and chrome on the corner of her shop. 
pieces salvaged from all kinds of machines. We can we kill make bigger something engines, out of that. Make a big bigger old Frankenstein. Wheels, bigger power. If men have given up on building monsters, who's to say this woman can't turn their pets into monsters? Huh? Lady, we have that problem today. We got cars that are too big, and that's what we're killing more pe pedestrians. So uh, how about don't do that? Please. The grackle perches on a fence post at the border Grackles. of the farm. Brack. Fields have been stripped clean. A man lies on his front in the dirt, seeds spilling out from the sack he holds in one hand. <laughs> what? Please. His voice thin with exhaustion. It wants more. Oh, you take yeah? the sack. The bird's heads turn in rhythm heads. as six eyes assess you. <laughs> more. It more. Says, a multi-voiced croak. <laughs> You're not sure which head to feed. So you just hold out your seed-filled hand. It pecks you hard enough to draw blood. More. All right, it's not my seed. You carefully feed it a handful of seed. More. You cautiously Again, not feed my it seed. a handful of seed. More. <laughs> I'm not telling it to stop. You tentatively feed it a handful of seed. More. The sack is running low. You Oof. delicately feed it a handful of seed. <laughs> More. The sack is empty. Oh no. But the it man wants groans. More. It'll eat anything. That was all I had left. My family's inside. Please. Oh. The bird looks at you. The man. The house. Hmm. More. The bird insists. I'll sacrifice myself for his family. You a offer bit. your empty hand. The bird regards it for a second and stabs its right beak forward and slices out a chunk of your flesh. <laughs> the middle head squawks and the right one tosses the meat up. Dude. The middle head <laughs> catches it and swallows. All three look this back. It's a little to more scary head. than I expected on this one. More. I the bird no crows more, with rage, sending droplets of your blood showering from its beak. You notice the flecks of red in its eyes for the first oh, time. Geez. The aberrant thing flies at you, reaching out with its scything claws. The bird gouges your arm. You bat it away. It lands by the man, hopping closer and driving its Oof. beak deep into his arm. Yanking loose a vein and tugging on it as if it were an earthworm. All right, I was not ready for that story Okay, um, I think I'm gonna wrap up here so I might I might pop into Memphis here But uh, you know, I'll say that this is basically the end but you can watch me until the the, the finale of this and we'll Peabody see what happens Hotel. <laughs> the words adorn yeah, we'll the exterior the story. wall, and then I'll Each heal myself up. the size of a window. The lobby is upholstered furniture mm. and gold chandeliers, but such luxury is a mere accessory to the centerpiece. A travertine marble fountain, in which five ducks swim. That's very lovely. A handsome bunch of feathered fellows. All having a nice time in the water. A bellman in a blue <sighs> cotton uniform, black cane cupped in his hands, takes notice of I, your I, interest I, I in the waterfowl. <laughs> Would you happen to be here to witness the duck march? <laughs> the duck march? A wide smile oh, yes, crosses very the bellman's face. Oh, a newcomer. Well... This is a little ceremony I introduced. Every day I march these babies into the elevator all the way to the roof. Mm -hmm. And I march them back down to this fountain. The bellman gestures toward the closest duck. Good. You notice now, the ducks have had their uh -huh. flight feathers trimmed, though their beauty remains intact. Now, don't look so concerned. I spoil them rotten. I'm the sure feathers will grow back. 
Ooh, baby's rustling good now. Good thing we're wrapping up. The bellman <laughs> taps his cane on the marble. Right away, the ducks honk up a frenzy and hop out of the fountain. They beat the water out of their wings and waddle toward <laughs> the elevator, guided by the bellman's cane. Magnificent. Magnificent. What sweet, gentle creatures. Ducks. <laughs> All right. This is where we'll say we'll wrap up. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you're liking this game, if you're liking these stories, you know, uh, make sure you come back next week for more. And uh, if uh, you want to check out more from my channel or want to hear me talk a little bit more, you can uh, watch my other videos and subscribe to the channel if you want to if you want to be back all the time. So, um, but yeah, that's it. We'll be back with more of this on Wednesday. So, um, but that's it for this week. So, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Just